come to the present moment here now the only moment there is ever and welcome to our little experiment this is how I consider it of bringing the truth of presence the truth of spiritual transformation the transformation of consciousness to you through this strange medium that we call the internet through this new technology it's a little ironic that a person like myself is using this technology of course with the help of many people a person who is totally computer illiterate and doesn't even use email and yet here I am and here you are in this moment together the information that I'm going to give you may be of some importance the information that will be part of our sessions and yet that is not the main thing that is not the essence of our coming together here the essence of our coming together here is entering the state of consciousness that we may call presence and my main endeavor is to allow you to enter that state of consciousness with me here and now there's no need to wait for the next moment or some other bit of information before you can become present alert still and aware in the present moment now so a transformation of consciousness a transformation of consciousness is possible and a transformation of consciousness is already happening to many many people around the world at this moment how do I know this? I know this because you are here listening watching sensing the power of presence within yourself not not in the in not in me I'm just an image on the screen I could say a mirror reflecting back to you who you are so if you can sense a certain shift inside you at this moment sensing an increased sense of aliveness of alert stillness then the transformation of human consciousness is already beginning to happen here and now and it's happening here and now in the only place where it can happen it's in yourself there's a certain urgency behind what we're doing here because we are at a critical time in the history of humanity we've lived in a particular state of consciousness for thousands of years and that state of consciousness or rather unconsciousness is no longer working it's becoming increasingly destructive just read the history of the 20th century and see how destructive 
that state of consciousness, that collective state of consciousness has become. And if there's no shift in consciousness at this time, then humanity may very well self-destruct. So the question for us as a species is ultimately evolve or die. So there's an enormous power now, an evolutionary impulse pushing us into this new state of consciousness. And this is the reason why I am here talking to you, and this is the reason why you are here listening to these words. It goes far beyond the personal dimension. There's a deeper reason of why we're here. It's an expression of an evolutionary impulse in the collective consciousness of humanity. It wants to evolve. It wants to reach a new evolutionary stage of consciousness. And so I can feel in what I do, whether it's writing or speaking, I can feel the power of that evolutionary impulse behind the words and the power that comes even when there are no words and there's just a still alert presence. There's still an enormous power that comes through when one sits there in simply the state of alert presence. And that's the power of consciousness itself and that is working through this form, this body, and it's working through you also. It is the same power. Something in the collective wants that change. And all we need to do is be open to this evolutionary impulse so that we can cooperate with it rather than try to protect us, ourselves and our egos from it. And part of this teaching here is to show you this possibility of opening yourself up more and more to what wants to happen on this planet. Not what I want to make happen or you want to make happen, but something far greater than the individual person. But it can only happen through the individual person. So I welcome you because you are part of this process and we are going to be here together regularly so that we can enter more deeply into that state and so that you can begin to live from that state of consciousness in your daily life which is the main thing. It's your daily life that determines where you are at as far as your state of consciousness is concerned. Not just it's fine to be here at this moment and become present, that's beautiful and necessary, but it's as essential to hold that state of presence in everyday life. And to learn that is why we are here. <laughs>